Well, I was going to start. Was the idea for the short always focused on Edna and Jack Jack, or was there any other sort of thoughts? Uh, there were other thoughts for mm -hmm. sure, um, but it's something that had been percolating sure. probably for a while, hmm. probably ever since Brad f first wrote the scene when Bob drops off the baby. You know, we're always talking because you know the, these shorts tend to, at, at least more recent ones, at least since Wally, tend to be born out of the film itself. Sure. Um, so as we're making the film, we, we tend to talk about, oh, this would make a good DVD short, or we should have this scene or that scene. So it had been, it'd been going for a little while, but it wasn't until February that the producers asked me and I said, I think we should do this. What were the other ideas for the shorts, potentially? Uh, you know, noth nothing like fully baked. You know, I, I would have loved to do a, a Void short. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I love that character, mm -hmm. you know, I wanted to see more of that character, but you know, in terms of time and budget and things, it's like there, we couldn't have done it. Mm -hmm. It would have been all new sets and locations and characters and all that and just couldn't do it. How early um, does production and development start on a short like this for you guys? I mean, you obviously need to see the, the finished film, I would think, right? Or No. Or no? Yeah. <laughs> Not at all? Not at all? Maybe the finished story. Finished or story. Even finished story, but um, at least some... some you, it's good to know where the story's headed, because mm -hmm. uh, often these show a moment you don't see in the film, uh, these short films. But in general, we try and start it about six or seven months before hmm. uh, we need to deliver it. They're on a very accelerated timeline. In this case, we started about four months before oh, we needed yeah. to deliver it. Do you like working on that sort of accelerated time frame? Is that is that something that you enjoy, or? I'll be much <laughs> better a strong with it hesitation. the next time. As first time director, it was uh, working at that pace was was challenging. Um, I think, you know, if there's a next time for me, then I'll be more familiar with it. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, I was lucky to have just come off the film and had worked very closely with Brad um, and had a lot of his. Um, um, things that he had given to me through, you know, a mentorship, essentially, you know, um, having worked so, so closely with him that I could apply. How does the development on a short compare to a feature for you both? Uh, <laughs> on a feature, we have, we have a lot of lead time in development on a feature, um, mm -hmm. a couple of years probably. With a short, it was like, go, clock's ticking, you know, so not really a lot of development time at all. You know, I just started storyboarding straight mm -hmm. out of the gate. Maybe, I don't know, maybe half a week that, you know, we were brainstorming ideas. Yeah, if there's a shot that looks like it'll stick, we mm -hmm. might throw that into production. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's, it's very piecemeal. <clears throat> How much changed from sort of the initial conception of Aunt Aunt Eddie to the, the finished product? Um, there was about a minute, minute and 10 seconds, which was mm -hmm. constantly changing. Um, the Mozart section was the first thing to go in production. I, I boarded that, you know, pretty quickly because we knew we needed it. <laughs> um, we knew we had that particular piece of music. We knew it caused a multiplication. So um, that was the first thing to go in. But everything, the minute prior to that where the powers are unfolding, mm -hmm. um, we iterated on that endlessly, as Mark can <laughs> attest. Yeah. What, what, what were those iterations? Oh, geez, that was, there were how many? <laughs> well, different ways, different powers, different mm -hmm. ways that they bonded. Uh, how do we, um, then we studied like shots where uh, you would get, just get a quick read mm -hmm. and so that we could have some quick cutting uh, for, for length. Um, so there's, there's iterations for different needs. Um, do you brainstorm different powers for Jack Jack? Like, what is the, the brainstorming session like for Jack Jack can do this? Or We handed it over to the effects team. Okay. You know, when, because uh, initially we weren't going to have any new powers. Like, we have to use the powers that we already have. Mm -hmm. And it became clear right away. It's like, we must show new powers, you know? <laughs> uh, so we just threw it to the effects team. Mm -hmm. And they went crazy with it, they loved it. 
Was there anything that was off the board that you couldn't do effect-wise? Yeah. <laughs> what, what, was, what was one that you couldn't I do? I really wanted to do an elastic baby. Okay. Uh, I was just <laughs> totally loving that idea. And they're like, uh-uh. No. How would that have worked? Would he, have, he would have just stretched like elastic early or anything? Oh, yeah. There's, there's so much you could do with that. Yeah. 